Hello, Toad here again. Golly. Here I get my $500 back from the Hacienda and then they decide, well, they're going to charge back from U.S. Direct Debit Card. It's called U.S. Direct Express Debit Card. Anyway, I just got off the phone with them and they said, well, you, you need to go talk to the owner, and I'd already talked to the owner and had to file a police report some six weeks ago, which I sent to him and implied, you got the police report, the man refuses to give me my money back. And now they took my money, so, oh wow, I'm going to be a thousand dollars in the hole. But at any rate, as of August the 1st, I will no longer be a customer of U.S. Direct Express debit card systems due to this poor customer service. I'm going to be with USAAA banks, and of course not with US banks, who I'm carrying around now a 42-page federal lawsuit that's been filed successfully in 2008, 10, 12, and again coming up in 2014 for excessive overdraft charges. Again, the best banking probably is no banking or the minimal amount of banking. I'm Toto Stooley, a.k.a. Michael S. Haniotis. Y'all have a good day. Judge for yourself. If you're with Direct Express for your Social Security benefits, I would suggest you find someplace else to go to. They're not very good, and their customer service really sucks. Bye-bye.